Com Center H285. We copy this scene request. Stand by for an ETA. When we're responding in the helicopter, these are usually the sickest or most hurt patients that are out there. Our local level one trauma center, if we take one of our fire department ground ambulances, is best case scenario about 90 minutes. That same trip for us is about 12 minutes. As a pilot, my job is to get them to point A to point B as safely as possible. You have a very limited time to make a very large impact in this patient. It takes an entire team. All those pieces need to come together in order to make a difference in that patient's life. When something dire happens, we have this idea that no matter who we are, how important or how insignificant we might feel, that someone is going to swoop in and take care of us and save the day. And that's what we do. We have about 300 bases across America. Last year, we transported more than 100,000 people. We're actually the fifth largest air operator in the country. If our mission is to save lives, I mean, it starts with being safe ourselves. When we talk about safety, we equate that to workload in the cockpit. When you fly in an aircraft, there are all kinds of things that are imposing themselves on your decision-making process. Navigation, talking to the ground crews, dealing with the weather. You think about emergency procedures, what if I have engine failure, hydraulic failure. You get a lot of winds up here. Things are constantly changing, so you have to be able to adapt to eliminate as much risk as possible. If we can bring the workload down, then we have a safer operation. How do we remove workload from the cockpit? That's the focus that we have. When we first met Air Methods, we actually learned very quickly that we shared the same goal, which is all about saving lives. Ultimately, the mission of the company is to make general aviation the safest mode of transportation ever. We're taking fly-by-wire technology that's existed in commercial gate-flying aircraft space for many, many decades, and for the first time, we're bringing it to general aviation. You get into a helicopter, you have a cyclic, a collective, and rudder pedals. You do a lot of things simultaneously. You have to stabilize the aircraft, for one thing. That's not an easy task, especially in a helicopter. In a fly-by-wire system, the pilot does not directly control the attitude of the aircraft. For example, pitch and the roll, and there's a computer in between. The pilot essentially uh, commands an intent. In FlatOS, there's a controlled side stick. If you want to go left, you move to the left. Faster, you just push forward. Higher, you just, with your thumb, you command a climb rate. You more or less tell the system what you want to do, and it takes care of the rest and makes sure it achieves it for you, all while staying inside safe flight envelope for the aircraft. No way! <laughs> what that means is the pilot is elevated to higher level decision making so they can focus on the more difficult decisions. In the case of EMS, they are forced to operate out of unstructured environments. In other words, they don't go to helipads, they go to a ski slope, a highway. Freeing them up from stabilizing the aircraft is a huge gain in, in their ability to pay attention to everything else. One of the worst parts of the job is you know when somebody calls, they need help. And there are times where we have to say no. We have our minimums as far as cloud clearances and visibility requirements that we have to stick to. It's a tough decision sometimes and I, I, I hate turning down flights. With the automation we bring in, you're able to safely fly into worse and worse weather conditions. With our technology, what we're trying to make possible is for any visibility condition, the aircraft to be able to fly through. When we think about how can we operate more efficiently, we operate very different airframes. We have large ones, we have small ones, and our pilots can only be qualified on two. There's a tremendous amount of value that can be introduced if you standardize the cockpit across a whole fleet. How the pilot takes off, how he lands, how he manages emergency procedures with Flight OS, all of it is exactly the same. We now can actually use our pilots across more airframes. It allows us to fill more shifts and to make sure that we're ready to serve in more places. It's tough. Some days are tough. When we have to take a child to another hospital, and when the mom says, uh, pray with me, forget the weather, the helicopter, everything like that, it's just like, you know. We're so excited about bringing in SkyRise and FlightOS to essentially be able to impact more lives than we do today, to be able to do it efficiently, 
to be able to do it safely and to really make a difference so that truly we are there to rescue people on the very worst day of their lives.